Hi everyone. My name is Claire, and I'm John. And today we're talking about senior sunungseng.、Um, uh, I'm sure you're familiar, particularly with the word sunungseng.、Um, you've probably all been one,、um, but、uh, not everyone has had the chance to take that incredibly stressful test, which may sound like something awesome to some of you, but.、Um, Uh, uh, not necessarily,、mm-hmm. but、mm-hmm. we'll get into those details later.、Um, I know that this word sunung still can strike fear into the <laughs> hearts of many.、Um, this may bring back some traumatic memories for you, but、uh, let's let's get into it.、Um, you and I, John, we have never taken the sunung test. No.、Uh, mm-hmm. Having heard about it, I'm quite glad about that. But I'm sure we've taken some hard tests in our lives.、Mm-hmm. What is the hardest test you have ever taken? I can't say that it was. Uh, the traditional test, as it were, but rather the final test of my uh, college um, major, mm. which was at that time a very long paper, around fifty something pages,、mm-hmm. that I had to write and get approved for and、um, do research on and uh, uh, see if I actually got enough points or made a good, clear enough point to graduate from college. And I would say that was the That final one test of does this paper pass or not pass was probably、um, one of the hardest things I've done because it was months of research and writing and rewriting and editing and being yelled at because my paper is not good enough, so I have to go back and write it again.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that was bad because usually when I wrote my papers, even if there are ten pages, it would be like one night、mm-hmm. out of, like I did research one night, write, enter, send. Get an A,、mm-hmm. but that you can't write fifty in one night. No,、oh, no. yeah, it's hard to write at length and、mm-hmm. have it still make sense. Do you call it dissertation in America? Ah,、uh, there is a dissertation, but I think that's held for higher education. I don't think I could have called my bachelor's degree a dissertation. Oh, we、mm-hmm. we I,、mm-hmm. I did something similar for my、mm-hmm. bachelor's degree, and we call it dissertation. I mean, it might be. No one used that word with me directly, but I think they just called it the final paper.、Uh. But dissertation is used quite often for anything in higher education.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not anything. Papers in higher education. <laughs> Did you ever? No, you of course took the standardized test. But have you t- taken one recently? It depends on the subject. Like I,、mm-hmm. I suppose in a way, you're my, in Britain to get into university, you have to take your A levels,、mm-hmm. and before、mm-hmm. that, your GCSEs. I guess they are standardized tests,、mm-hmm. but、mm-hmm. not in the same way that Sunung is. Like it's not、yeah. multiple choice, ever. In the UK,、oh. even for physics and maths, there's always you know you have to show you're working, and、oh. um, it's never A, B, C, or D. Okay.、Um, but、That's... I suppose it is standardized in the sense that we all do the same test. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that was the never, last time. Never multiple choice. Wow, what a world!、Mm-hmm. Getting your owl levels. <laughs> owl levels. I mean A levels. Sorry. A levels. <laughs> owl levels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grade one owl. <laughs> yeah. Is that the highest or the lowest? No, A is the high. A star is the highest. Okay, an A star. It brings me back to kindergarten when you get, you get stars next to your star, name.、Yes. It means you're in the top two percent of the A grades. Congratulations! I'm sure you. I got three. Yeah,、oh, there we go. I was like, I'm sure you got something of that. Well, while while we are all jealous, let's go ahead and read that、uh, article. Hopefully in full, but you could also just do the summary if you don't have time. And we'll see you in the review. Senior Sunung Sang, 81-year-old Li Ju Young attended less than a year of public school as a kid, but after watching enviously as her children and grandchildren got educated, she decided that it was her turn. She attended a special middle and high school for older women, graduating after eight years, and is now planning to attend university. This year, she took Korea's notoriously difficult college entrance exam. She didn't need to take the test for admission to her university program, but she wanted to show people that she could do it.